Hello, welcome to Quality Food Safety 101 and our HACCP series continues. Today, uh, we will talk about the Codex Logic Sequence. If you remember the first video which we made, in that one I explained to you the timeline of HACCP starting from 1959 to uh, 1998 where the HACCP became basically the world renowned system. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link of the video in the description and a card here and also I will leave a link to the timeline if you want to download it and use it for your educational purposes or in your trainings. So in that timeline, if you observe that National Advisory Committee on the Microbiological Criteria of Food and Codex in 1997 made a more harmonized guideline for HACCP. In that guideline, they made 12 steps of HACCP. So it means that any organization which wants to achieve HACCP needs to follow this 12 steps and they will achieve the HACCP system. So these 12 steps are called as the Codex Logic Sequence. And it's very interesting uh, because literally if you follow these steps one by one, you will achieve HACCP. It's pretty simple and quite amazing as well. So let me show you what are those steps. First of all, you need to have uh, and assemble a proper HACCP team, which will define the scope of the study and define the term of reference. Then the second step is to have proper product description or the process description. Then identify the customer, the intended use of the product. Basically to the th third step is to identify the customer or the intended use. Number four, the step is to construct or, or to make a flow diagram of the process by which the product is being made or the flow diagram of the product itself. Then number fifth the step is to validate and verify the flow diagram in different conditions, different timings. So to make sure that the flow diagram is made accurately. So these five top steps are also called as the preparatory steps leading towards hazard analysis. Now remember that among the 12 steps, there are 7 steps which are called as the HACCP principles. These 7 steps are mandatory and without them or without uh, properly doing these 7 principles, HACCP system cannot exist. And interestingly, all the other food safety management systems also will ask you to follow these 7 principles. So principle number 1, uh, after uh, the 5 initial preparatory steps, the principle number 1 is hazard analysis. Principle number two is determining critical control points. Principle number three is to establish critical uh, limits for the critical control points. Principle number four and step number, and step number nine is to establish monitoring systems. Principle number five is to have corrective actions if the CCPs go, to, go out of control. Principle number six is verification and validation and last but not the least, the seventh principle is to have proper documentation and record keeping of the HACCP system. So these are the 12 steps of HACCP. If you, as I said before also, if you go step by step and follow these steps religiously, you will achieve your HACCP in no time. In no time. It's quite simple as well. Now, in the same series of HACCP, starting from the next video, we will have for each of these steps uh, individual video which will explain in detail how to conduct or how to do these uh, stages of HACCP and at the end if you follow this whole series and uh, follow the instructions which I give you in the coming videos you should be able to do your own HACCP basically. So see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, spread the knowledge. Thank you. See you in the next one.